How would you explain virtualization to your parents? That's what I had in mind when I made this presentation. It's intended for people that are new to virtualization and how VMware presents the concept of virtualization. I'm often asked by my friends and family, what does VMware do? If they're not tech savvy, I tell them VMware helps companies with 100 servers do the same thing on 10. That saves them a lot of money. However, when it comes to my tech savvy friends who really want to know, it's more of a struggle. After looking around for a while, I realized there wasn't anything that really drives it home. It seemed incomplete and lacked really fundamental pieces. In my Virtualization 101 search, there were a lot of common themes. They described the hypervisor as an abstraction layer. It gives you the ability to run many virtual computers on one physical computer. None of them described what was going on behind the curtains, though. Before we get into it, we're going to review a couple of computer basics that will help you understand how virtualization works. Binary. Did you know that everything a computer does is based on ones and zeros? It's hard to imagine, but as far as the computer is concerned, it's all just ones and zeros. Let's use Windows and Office as our example for this training. The computer tells Windows what it has in it. Office tells Windows what it wants, and Windows talks to the computer to get it done. BIOS. Every physical computer has a BIOS. Laptop, desktop, server, doesn't matter. Basic input-output system. You've seen it before. It's the first thing you see when your computer boots up. The BIOS serves two primary functions. It starts and tests the physical components of the computer and loads Windows. Now keep binary and BIOS in mind as we move through the rest of the training. Let's look at a Windows installation. To install Windows, you insert the installation CD. Windows uses binary to talk to the BIOS, and BIOS uses binary to tell the computer about its components. Windows is a very large OS, so this can take a while. Once Windows is installed, we can install our applications. We connect our physical computers to a network so our OS and applications can talk to the outside world. In 2002, VMware came out with its own operating system called ESXi. The installation process is the same as Windows, but much faster because ESXi is only 144 megabytes. Just like Windows, we connect ESXi to a network so it can talk to the outside world. So what does ESXi do? ESXi uses binary to create a virtual version of the physical world. It creates a virtual switch and connects it to the physical NIC. Then it connects the virtual switch to a virtual version of the hardware, BIOS and all. Hardware is hardware to Windows. It can't tell the difference between virtual hardware and physical hardware. So we point the Windows installation to the virtual hardware, and it installs just like it always has. And it's connected to the outside world through the virtual network and the physical NIC. Why haven't I seen this before? If you've seen other VMware presentations, you have. It's just represented in a different way. So remember, when you see this, it's just a shortcut for what's really going on. VMware has created a virtual version of the physical world. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this training. Have a great day.